Today we're going to talk about how to embroider on caps. In order to embroider on caps, you have to have the optional cap kit. There's three components that come with this kit. The first one is the framing gauge. This you can mount to a table. I'm going to take it off here real quick. <clears throat> Just mounts with this thumb screw, you put it onto a table. I've got a nice little hooping station here that I'm going to hook it to. Hook it to. So this is the framing gauge. This is the driver. This is what will go on your machine to actually sew the cap. This is the hoop. This is what we'll actually load the cap onto when we start to embroider. The framing gauge is mounted. We'll come to the machine now. We'll take the screws out. We'll take off the embroidery arm. Then we're going to mount the driver. Okay, the cap driver has the screws on the bottom. And the screws go back in the top the same way they came off when you took your embroidery arm off. So I'm going to slide it in. The little pins stick up through the holes right here. The screws mount it back on again. Tighten up the screws. And you have to be sure and tighten these ones on the bottom. Push them to the back, snugly to the back, and then tighten up the screws. Get those snug. In your accessories, there should be a little riser plate. It looks like this. This goes on the throat plate, right above the needle hole. This, rise, this rises up the level of the plate, because when we're sewing flat, we're down level with the plate. When we're sewing caps, we're doing a concave service, and that, that point where the needle goes through would be a gap, and the material would flag if we didn't have this riser plate on. So that's the reason for that plate. Okay, I've got a design loaded up now for my caps. The next thing I want to do is load up a cap on my cap frame. There's a latch on the side here that you're going to open up the latch and pull this band over. Now, a lot of your cap frames, when they're brand new, are very tight, very hard when you put a cap in here to snap this snap closed. You may need to come in, and there's an adjustment on these three screws right here. You can loosen these screws and you can slide your band forward or back and make it a little looser. You want it to be difficult and hard to snap tightly on your cap to hold it tightly in place. But you can adjust. If you just can't get it, you can adjust these screws and move these bands back and forth. So come on around here and we'll show you how to load up a cap. Okay, I've taken the framing gauge off again so that you can see that when it comes packaged, you first open it, you loosen these two screws. The one right here, you just loosen just a little bit so that this arm will pivot down and lock into this screw. Tighten the screw up. This little arm, when you flip the band over, when you put the cap frame on here, that holds that band in place so it just doesn't flop wildly everywhere. Mount it back to my table. I'm going to take my cap frame. Let me just close this one off here. I'm going to place it onto the driver onto the loader, I'm sorry, the framing gauge. I'm going to slide it back and I'm going to snap it in place. Notice how there's little rectangular slots here that go underneath these wheels. Those same wheels are on your cap driver that's on the machine right now, so that's how you'll load this cap frame onto the machine momentarily once we get the cap loaded. So I'm going to snap that into place. I'm going to take my cap, and this particular cap <clears throat> has a lining I probably wouldn't use backing on this cap. A lot of your caps will have buckram or something in them. You don't need a backing, but your unstructured caps, the ones that are real flimsy, maybe the low profiles, there's nothing inside of them, you'll need a backing. You'll take a pre-cut cap backing, which is a very very stiff tearaway backing, and you would place it down on the cap frame first. There's some little teeth here that you can actually kind of push it down onto the teeth. It'll bite into the teeth like this and then as you place the cap over it it'll be held in place. You want to be sure and turn the sweat band out on the cap and work that sweat band underneath this little plate right here that has the red line on it. That red line lines up with the center line on the six panel cap on a five panel cap, you just have to eyeball it. But on a six panel cap, I can really see that I'm centered up here. Next, I'm going to bring my band now. My band goes front to back. I've got to have the part with the teeth in front of my bill, the 
back side of the band goes behind the bill. So I'll bring this around. I want those teeth as close as I can to the bill to bite in on the bill. I'll come down here. I'll bring the little clip, the snap, down underneath here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna before I tighten it up now, I'm gonna still I'm gonna take a look and make sure I'm squared up, and then I'm gonna take and squeeze and see how hard that snaps in there. That's what I want. That's grabbed very tightly onto this hat. <clears throat> I'm gonna get my clips now, my little they're like gym clips, and I'm gonna snap them onto the, the hat as well. These little gym clips now, I will take and I will pull down tightly on my head and I'll snap them on to this bar that sticks out the bottom of my cap frame. And I'll do that on both sides. The last thing I want to do is take my bill protector now. I want to push the bill back on the back of my hat and bring the bill protector over and then snap it down all the way down so it's firmly in place. Do you notice how on some of these bills they want to bow out really bad? I've got to flatten that out. I've got to get that down or it will rub the back of the machine as it's sewing. So I'll really push down on those and flatten that out. And I'm ready to go back to the machine now to load this up to sew. So there's a loaded cap onto the cap frame ready to be embroidered. My backing is inside there. Cap backing, it's ready to go. Let's take it to the machine. Now to load the cap onto the machine, I've got to turn the cap roughly 90 degrees. See this opening right here? That's a good place to bring it in underneath the presser foot, like this. Once I get it underneath there then, I want to rotate it back again so the bill's facing up. And then I'll come around those little slots we talked about that go up underneath those wheels. I'll snap in one side, I'll come over the other side, and I'll snap in the other. My cap is now loaded onto the machine. The file's up. Like always, we want to trace our design. We want to see how it's going to sew. So everything looks good to me. My foot is centered up on my center line. I know that I'm going to be at the center of my cap, sewing outward. Sometimes you may shift a little bit left or right if you have a, a letter that's going to sew right into that seam to where the stitches could drop into the center seam. You may want to just shift an eighth of an inch left and right of center. Usually not noticed when the cap is sewn. So let's go ahead and sew this design off and see how this looks. Wow, that was fast. Okay, now to take it off, you lift up on the bottom and get it out from underneath the wheels, and then you roll it again to the side and work it out. And snap. Take the bill protector off. Bring your band up over the top of the hat. Undo your clips. Take the hat off. 
take the backing out. And there's our hat. So it's not, it's not hard. It takes a little practice. And um, certainly something you should be doing. If you don't have a cap kit, be sure and contact us. We'll give you a great deal on a cap kit for your PR. And if you do have one and you need some lessons, you're welcome to stop by here and we'll be happy to give you a lesson. Have a good day and come see us at sewingmachine.com.